Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Before we get started in today's project, could you please subscribe? This will help support my channel. And check out my over 110 videos I have on YouTube. Really appreciate it. So today I want to run airline to my welding booth. And for that, I'm going to use some copper tubing. This is half inch copper tubing. This is half inch black pipe. This is half inch copper tubing. I'm going to be using the copper to run all my airlines. Copper won't rust. It's easy to cut, easy to solder and joint. You don't have to have any special fittings. You don't have to thread any pipe. I'm going to run the copper tubing about 30 feet in the ceiling. So the question is, how do I attach this copper tubing to the ceiling? You need some kind of hanger or bracket. And that's what today's video is really about. So let's look at the different options we have and let's see if I can come up with something that's suitable. You can go to make a bigger box store and get this metal strapping. It's easily cut with tin snips and has all these holes for screwing it to the ceiling. I don't think that's gonna look very nice and that's really not the look I'm looking for. This style clamp has one screw. You put it under your copper tubing and you screw it to the ceiling this is harder to work with when you're by yourself because you got to hold the copper and your screw gun and a clamp. So that's not going to work. Now these are conduit clamps and I could screw this to the ceiling, remove the bolt and place the tubing in there and then screw it tight. That would work, but still not what I'm thinking about. I still don't like the look of it. Then there's this style clamp. The nice thing about this one is copper, it won't rust. But now you gotta put two screws in the ceiling while you're futzing with your 30 feet of copper tubing. That's not gonna work. Then there's this style, and I call a bell because it looks like a bell. And you can screw this to the ceiling ahead of time. Put, place your copper in there, swing the clamp over it and screw it down tight. This would work pretty good, but these are made out of copper and are kind of expensive. And I still don't like it. So what I came up with is aluminum bar. It's eighth inch thick, three quarters of an inch wide, six inches long. It has a screw hole, so I can screw it to the ceiling ahead of time and then come and lay my copper tubing in there. Now I don't need any fasteners or any tools in my hand. I do have a small threaded hole there, and if I want to add a bolt here in the future, I can. It's aluminum, it won't rust. I did a little engine turning, well, because I could. So I went to my mega big box store and I bought some aluminum bar. And I cut it a little longer than six inches. So with all the bars cut, we're gonna go over to Bridgeport Mill, we're gonna drill these holes, and then we're gonna mill a contour. For that, let's go to Bridgeport Mill. We're gonna drill two holes, number 21, or 159 thousandths. First, we're gonna center drill, and then drill. The drilling operation kicked up a big burr. So we're gonna go over to the drill press, we're gonna chamfer that, and engine turn. So we're gonna come down with a quarter inch chamfer bit and remove all the burrs. We're gonna go on the wire brush an engine turn. You can see how the engine turn gives it the swirl pattern. It hides scratches that were in aluminum before we started. And I like the look of it. 
Next operation, we're going to mill the ends. That's a full 3 inch radius. On the opposite side, has a 60 thou radius. So I made this fixture, and I got a note here, short side, and I got a gauge pin here, so that will lock in my vise. So all I got to do, put the short side on there. The hardware I'm using is 832 flathead screws. And I just got to tighten them down. With the two screws tightened down, I slide this in the jaws and I bump the pin and that locates it so I can take this fixture out and put my next part on it. I'm gonna mill with a half inch, two flute high speed steel end mill. Our next operation is to bend this. First, we're gonna bend a big loop here, and that's gonna hold the pipe. Okay, with a combination square set of three quarters of an inch, we bump off the back of this pin, put a little tension on it, and this will slide because we're gonna put so much pressure pulling this around a pin, we have to clamp this with some vice grips. So now we clamp that with the vice grips, now we just swing this around. Till we hit the vice grips. Then we bring it back and take it apart. So that's as far as we can go with that setup. We wanna have a full radius here in the corner so the two both sit in there real nice. To finish this bend, we're gonna go over to the vise. Now in the vise, we're just tighten this until the two sides are parallel. I'm checking it out there. I gotta go just a little more. Stick it down a little lower. I don't wanna squish the pipe. That looks pretty good. We got a nice radius in the corner. And it's just, we have these two sides pretty parallel, and this slides in there nice. We're gonna bend this at a 90, opposite of the hook. And we stick it in there. And we bring this around. But you can see we're gonna run out of travel here. It's gonna slide past that pin. We put this block in there, and this is part of the bender. Slide the block in there. Make sure we're all the way forward. And we bring this around. A little bit past 90 because it'll spring back on us. And we pull it out. And there we have the part bent. So off camera, I'm gonna drill this 3 16 for a deck screw. But I think it looks pretty nice. You can see that engine turn. That hides a lot of scratches and scrapes in there. No one's really going to see this on the ceiling but me. But I know it looks nice. With the brackets all finished, it's ready to hang. The brackets are going to be screwed to the ceiling, and I'm afraid that these corners are going to dig into the drywall. So I cut a piece of wood. And that's going to stop that from happening. I got a stainless steel deck screw that I had left over from a deck project. And that goes with the theme of everything not rusting. I finished screwing all the brackets to the ceiling and it worked out as planned. All I had to do was slip the pipe in there and I didn't have to have any tools. 
when you have a 10 foot piece of pipe and you're working alone, it really made it a lot easier. Let's go take a look and see how this project finished up. So here's the drop over by the welding booth and the valve there is a drain that's the farthest from the compressor and any condensation will be cleaned out there. Right here I bolted it to the unit strut. The airline connects to it and feeds the pipe right by the compressor. Well, this is MKE Gadgets, and I thank you for taking the time to view my video today. Please share this with your friends and support my channel by subscribing. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.